Hey YouTubers, thanks for watching this video. I just wanted to put something out there about battery desulfators and renewing batteries because I have a lot more experience than um, a lot of people out there because I, I basically did it for a living. I uh, had a battery store where I would specialize in deep cycle batteries and forklift batteries and golf cart batteries and occasionally if somebody was desperate I would work on their car battery but there wasn't, wasn't a lot of money in it and a lot of times car batteries aren't aren't really the best application, but here's here's the battery store website and, and call call it battery renew. But the, the site looks different, and I worked on no exaggeration, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of deep cycle batteries, golf car batteries, um, occasionally the forklift batteries, and a lot of other uh, different you know uh, like sweeper batteries and things like that, which were much bigger deep cycle batteries and solar power batteries. So I used almost every kind of desulfator. I used chemicals, all of that, and gained a lot of experience about what works and what does not work. And I wanted to share that with you because um, I think there's uh, it's pretty easy to blow some money and get not get what you want out of it. The truth is, is that desulfators do, in fact, work. Um, but you have to have the right battery in the right condition in order for it to be worthwhile. So let's go over real quick what the battery is. battery's got a bunch of plates. It's got uh, sulfuric acid, and it has um, you know, material in between the plates. Um, the plates are, are made of primarily lead with antimony. Now, some of the more advanced plates have, um, they even actually you can get some plates that have cadmium in them, which will make them harder. Um, and there are a bunch of different things that the battery manufacturers do to the acid levels. Like a hotter acid will give you an apparently higher, uh, you know, more powerful battery, but it will also burn out the plates earlier. So there's a lot of funky stuff. But ultimately, what happens is over time, especially if you don't take care of the battery, don't charge it, is those plates get corroded with um, sulfate from the sulfuric acid. It comes out of solution. So that's what we're trying to do. That's one of the things that we are trying to do when we desulfate a battery. Now the really advanced desulfators, which really is not even a desulfator, does more. This is like the lowest end of the lowest end for 18, 20 bucks. Puts out a minor, minor uh, voltage spike, you know, up to 60 volts or something like that, which is which is more than enough, but a very low current. And this is going to take forever to work for you if in fact it does work, because it's not very powerful. Now, um, there are some more, like uh, the one that's coming up here shortly, and I didn't use those because those things were just too too long and didn't work all the time. This whiz-bang one is a little bit better, but they'll tell you themselves, hey, it's going to take a couple of weeks. Most of the time, people don't have weeks for their batteries. They want them now. Um, and also, it's only going to work on certain batteries that are really not that badly degraded. That's what I find. And your voltage... Um, basically, a cell and a battery is 2.1 volts. So, if the standard battery's got to be somewhere around 12.7 volts, I mean, if it comes off a charge, it's going to be 13.2, 13.4, 12.7. You're looking at, uh, and in the neighborhood of 10, 10.5 volts, um, if you, you know, have a battery that's going to be rescuable. If it's below that, it's very difficult. This is a much more powerful one. It's 45 bucks. Problem is, it can blow out a battery. Gosh knows I've done it. Um, so it doesn't it doesn't have the electronics to do it. Same kind of thing on this one, although these are more sophisticated. Again, it's going to take some time. Um, so all of these are different options, but this thing's like 140 bucks. So you're getting up there with a little bit of money. Now, that's the thing. Your money is buying you usually amps and frequency control and some voltage. So I I would say the very inexpensive ones put them on batteries that are older and over time will help improve them. But they're not, you know, overnight success like this bad mamma jam is. Now this is the one I have. I had a bunch of them actually. Twelve, thirteen hundred bucks. They do work, and they will also ruin your battery if you are not careful. Um, so you got to be really careful. But they do work, and they can work overnight. Um, I had I developed some techniques on how I could make it do it in about eight hours. Man, I brought back some batteries. But if you do want to know more, uh, there's a report link at the bottom. Click on that. Check out a battery report that gives you really good ways and cheap ways to uh, restore your batteries and um, you know make them come back to life and sometimes do even better than they were originally new which is what this battery rejuvenator would often do so um, I hopefully hopefully that's been helpful to you dirt cheap ones will take forever don't work on every battery the more expensive ones will work like practically overnight but they're also going to cost you a lot more um, and the battery report will probably help you out just as much as anything. Thanks a lot.